Today we are at the, one of the biggest spring music fairs in our section in the violin making business in Europe. It's Mondo Musica in Cremona. This year I even have a booth here to exhibit my Osmium violin. Come with me and I show you what happened here. It's already five o'clock on Sunday. It was super busy three days. Nice weather. People are sitting out having here a drink. It's pretty noisy inside. I hope the acoustic and the voice comes good. Stay tuned and I show you what's going on here. Yeah. Ciao Rupert! Uh, hey, Hello! Meeting you Edgar. Nice to see you! Okay. This is... Uh, sorry, the intro comes later. This is Rupert Rod from Segurio.com. The instrument insurance which you can make online. I leave you the section down below. It's probably the only insurance you can just with a mouse click make it for one week, for one month, as long as you want. This is the violin making school of Cremona, Antonio Stradivari. He is a student of the violin making school and that's exactly the violin making school I made 40 years ago. I started with the school, four years later I finished it. Now things have changed a little bit. It's now five years, depending on your grade of your school you made, you can also finish it in three years, I think. And we keep on walking to the next one. Grazie. Ciao. So here we come inside the fair. There are a lot of bulls. And here there is the consortium of violin making where I'm an active member. I like it because when we build our master instruments, I like the system that we get a specific certificate for every instrument which certifies that we built the instrument. So when we start with an instrument with the wood, we make a picture, we send the picture of the wood to the consortium and then we are in a control system and you can be sure that the instrument is made from us in our workshop. Well, all together, I think like 50, 60 uh, members. The exhibitions are made worldwide. Sydney was one we made. I participated there also with uh, Sydney Springs. It was a big success actually in the United States, Japan, worldwide. So here this is Maurizio Riboni. The Riboni cases, you know them probably. You see them worldwide when you see on the airports and everywhere you have Musafia and Riboni. These are the only two case makers from Cremona, Italy. And behind that there is a person who makes it. It's a family business, yeah. There is Chiara, and they have the secretary and they make the cases and whatever you specify what color and everything well, we can make it it takes always long time because they have so many orders and back orders they have to complete but it's actually a very reliable light case and we violin maker we love we love their full violin case it looks like a normal violin case you open up and then you have full violins inside it's probably for traveling the best case you just put it on your back and then when you check in you say and the violin they say yeah okay and then you travel with four violins there is pasquale sardone he's a really tough guy and he makes the instruments i would say real italian instruments with his heart he makes them you see how many people are there you cannot hardly talk to him he just opened his new workshop in via robolotti 25 and i went to his opening party and it was big big success. Here we have a big friend of mine, Andrea Varazzani, is another good maker. He even worked in my workshop for many years. He varnished a lot for me. Here he has the Espoos together with Arturo Fonce, the bow makers in Gerobolotti. So here we are with Erli Gura. He is another student of mine from Tirana. Albania. He is probably the happiest student I ever had. We had great fun together. He enjoyed me on many, many music fairs because it was such a great fair animal, I would call him, because he's really good with people and he's also working very nice. He captured very well my taste and my style of making. So here we are very close to the entrance. This is a candy in my mouth, sorry. This is Bachmann Tonewood and it's up in the mountains in Italy, Italian spruce. That's actually the good material you want to use for your instruments. He even sells here maple. I didn't know that, that he has so nice wood here. Mainly he brought here the top quality, master quality to the fair. We get the wood also from him sometimes. Oh, and who here comes? Here comes Jonathan. Jonathan Humphreys is probably one of the most 
successful cello teachers online. Are you doing a tour as well? Yes, of course. Should I do uh, with you? You can tour with me as you want with Jonathan. You can do always. So when it comes to precision packs, we have a new option here, a much beautiful one option. And it's this knilling. So you have the wooden part, That's like a wood. traditional pack, and you can adapt the whole system on every pack. So that becomes immediately much, much nicer. This here is a Revolta tone wood. At the time I came to Italy, that was the only wood dealer I knew in Italy. And you went all the way up to Milan. In the northern part of Milan, there is Stesio. And they have already wood since 1901, I can see here. We're in front of the booth of Trubner from Germany. And Rubner are making the machine heads especially for the double bass. I have their mechanics on my double basses. So we see us tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. They are from India, automation uh, engineers. For many years, I get the fittings for the Scala Perfetta instruments. This is exciting, never seen that before. Didn't know that this exists. This seems like synthetic hair in all different colors. Ah, you can even buy the hair for the ball in all colors. That sound, this is really fancy, huh? This is Larsen's string for all the cellos, and they also make a certainly violin and viola strings, but they started actually with the A and D string for cello. I think the E first string was even the A string. They turned out to be bigger and bigger. I think it's a good company. You always need to keep in contact with them. This here is Kuhn shoulder rest. Juliana is somewhere here below. She's already putting away. This one here is really a fancy one, you know? This is is your new one. Damn, this looks just awesome. This is the cool seven. Damn, it's really cute. I was just about to show before Edgar turned up with his documentary film crew. He's even joking on us. Did you get that? We cannot forget Monica Morassi and Antonio with the Luteria shop, which is actually very close by to my workshop. And here they have a nice booth with everything. They have all the tools and wood and goshes and whatever you need. You just go on their website, uh, luteriashop.com, and then you get everything. And if you write Edgar 5, you have 5% discount. It's not a secret anymore. I am born in Austria. And that's why my heart is half beating for Tomastik Infeld. They showed up with one string after another and they had a very clear program of how to work. And then they came, finally, I decided to pull Peter Infeld on all my instruments. And then when I made the Austrian violin, they showed up with Dynamo. And Dynamo is actually the string, which is good like the Peter Infeld, but it's also beautiful like the Domastic at that time. Here we are finally at my booth, at our booth of Sound of Cremona. The reason I made the booth at the fair here is to show the Osmium violin to my violin making community here in Cremona. Actually a big success. I think people and they enjoyed it, appreciated it. We had the instrument, the violin, played by Lena Yokoyama every day and people liked it, how it sounds. We exhibited here a violin of Min, Mina Masolari here, a violin of mine, and the violin uh, Carlo Antonio Testore from Marco. So this here is the Osmium violin, as you have seen it already, with 541 Osmium pieces, all framed in gold, inlaid on the instrument, with double gold, purfling, diamond, cyber, rubies and sapphires there would be if, if i would have more time I, there would be on every booth there would be something and everybody here who has a booth is giving its best to make a good product it's just for me i try to make my own business then i i try to give you my small things which i believe are good so it's just a small selection of what's actually what i'm in here if you have the time next year to come to the fair, it's really worth it. And Cremol is a f beautiful city, right? And you can meet me. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye.